Under contract to NASA, the Transformational Space Corporation is developing an innovative crew transfer vehicle, or CXV. It can carry four persons to the International Space Station for less than $20 million per flight. The CXV and its booster will be carried by a large aircraft to be developed by Burt Rutan's Scaled Composites. The carrier aircraft flies out over open ocean for a safe launch far away from population centers. The crew and passengers ride in the carrier aircraft, then descend to enter the capsule shortly before launch. A special mechanism briefly holds on to the nose of the booster as it is released, imparting a rotation that begins turning the vehicle towards the vertical. A small parachute slows the rotation speed. Four seconds after release, the engine fires. Six seconds later, the booster begins its climb toward orbit. By the time the CXV recrosses its release altitude, the carrier aircraft is safely 1,500 feet away. Air launch is more survivable than ground launch for passenger vehicles. In ground launches, an on-pad abort requires the release of a great deal of energy to quickly move the capsule high enough for parachutes to deploy. With an air launch, the capsule already is high enough at ignition for parachute deployment. The two-stage booster utilizes a simple design for fewer failure modes, greatly enhancing reliability of the system and survivability for the crew. Each engine has only one moving part after the valves are opened. There are no turbo pumps or pressurization systems. During launch, the crew feels acceleration that peaks at 4.5 Gs, only somewhat higher than the space shuttle. After second stage burnout, the CXV capsule uses its own engines for a final orbit burn. Solar arrays can be deployed to supplement the onboard batteries. The CXV can remain on orbit for four days or longer if it is docked to the International Space Station. The CXV will be able to bring four people to ISS, but in emergencies it can bring up to eight crew members down from the space station. It also can shuttle staff to and from crew exploration vehicles that can be based in low Earth orbit. The capsule shape automatically aligns the vehicle correctly as it descends into the atmosphere regardless of its initial orientation. No active control is required. Redundant thermal protection systems shield the capsule from the heat of reentry. The CXV has a double layer of circuit tiles which were developed by the NASA Ames Research Center. Water landing of the capsule in the ocean or a large lake is an approach used in the Apollo program.